The Fitness Boxing 2 version 1.2 update is here, bringing you with it a brand new instructor, bug fixes and accessibility options. We also have a slew of paid DLC to go along with it, so let's get into those patch notes. Firstly, we have our new instructor Leo. Leo is a calm soul with a very comfy outlook as you can see by the oversized jumper here. Even in the no mercy mode levels which come included, he's pretty chill with gentler encouragement than other instructors in the game. Leo has a few outfits to choose from and no achievements attached to him, at least from the initial run of achievements. Other than that, he is functionally the same as any other instructor. Next, we have remove blocking and auto score blocking in the settings menu in daily workout and action assist respectively. This will remove blocking from daily workout options or you can have them auto score as a perfect if you want to include them in certain routines in your daily workout or free workout but you struggle with the block movement. Personally, I really appreciate this as an option because blocking is one of the dodgier moves in the game and doesn't have the best motion detection. It can require some decent flexibility in order to get the form perfect and if you have shoulder or back problems this can exacerbate them in very specific scenarios so having an auto score or remove option is fantastic. You can customize the order of songs in the song list screen by pressing the plus button so you can bring your favorites to the top nice and easy which is great for those new DLC packs. You can also check the courses you've played on the exercise results screen pressing X at the end of a session will let you check individual results for workouts you did in that session. You can also press the X button from the main menu to go straight to weight data entry making it simpler than before. These are all quick simple quality of life updates that make the game a lot more accessible in the long run and I hope that this is the sort of thing that is going to come as standard with Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star or maybe an upcoming Fitness Boxing 3. Next we've got some good old bug fixes. Now I don't believe I've encountered any of these bugs during play with the exception of one of them so I don't have examples but apparently timing adjust wasn't working on continuous exercises and they've also removed an event that encouraged you to quit during daily workouts. Now this is the one that I've seen and I didn't realize this was a bug basically after 30 minutes of working out it would ask you to stop working you know like whether you wanted to cool down or whatnot and as much as we appreciate that um, if you've set a daily workout to be 38 minutes having it try and get you just before the end is probably not the best idea so I appreciate they've removed that for the daily workouts. They fixed other things like player weight not being recorded properly if you go across the time slash day line adjusting the movements of instructors where movements weren't performed correctly and fixing a timing issue where it didn't recognize daylight savings time. These are all well and good always nice to see bug fixes um, although they still haven't done the one thing that I really hope that they were going to do which is set the time so it works off of the switch's internal clock because at the moment last last time I checked my day swapped over at about 11 a.m which is a bit silly here in Australia because you know it should be at you know midnight each day for whichever region you're in but I digress those are the patch notes for the version 1.2 update this brand new free update however as I mentioned there are also three new paid DLC packs we have two music packs and we have one stage pack which brings the first set of new stages to the game now the music packs are cool, there are three tracks in each pack, EDM features Melbourne Workout, You're Gonna Change and Your Future which are all original EDM tracks, I really like You're Gonna Change but Melbourne Workout is also good because let's go Australia. The rock pack features three more original tunes, Dawn of the Storm, Inferno and The Long Way Around. Inferno is my favourite here, but Dawn of the Storm is pretty filthy in its own way. And then we also have the stages, and I'm going to tell you what the game doesn't really inform you about, and that is that you have to have the stage animations in the settings set to light, otherwise you won't be able to access these three new stages that you paid for. But anyway, set the stage animation to light, and then go and choose your new stages. You'll be able to choose from Lagoon, Forest, and Snowfield. All are quite nice, but my personal preference is Snowfield. I feel that works really well with the rhythm track animations. And that's it. That's everything that has come in this new brand new content drop for Fitness Boxing 2. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what your favorite part is and if you like Leo as an instructor. It is great to see this level of support this late into a game's lifespan nowadays and this will tide us over pretty well although there aren't any extra boxing routines which is a little bit of a shame. However we do have that new Fitness Boxing Fist of the North Star coming very soon so make sure you hit subscribe to get all of the latest information on that one. Now thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons like Rain, Sick Hippie and Mikey Bananas for the wonderful support they send through Patreon. I really appreciate that. I'm Master Trainer Peter. I'm going to see you in the next video.